why Derek Lively is going to be special. Although we haven't seen all that much of Derek Lively yet, only a handful of NBA games and some preseason, I still do think the Mavs have found themselves something special in Lively. I think a lot of the things that he does on the court in terms of his statistics, as well as some of his intangibles, are exactly what the Mavs need, and I do think going forward throughout the rest of his career, he's going to be a special talent. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Derek Lively was drafted with the number 12 overall selection during the 2023 NBA draft by the Dallas Mavericks. And originally when Derek was coming into the NBA, he was seen as a very special talent. Although offensively he was a little bit raw, he didn't have all that many offensive abilities besides the pick and lap offense, but regardless of that fact, he had really good size out there, he had tremendous athleticism, he did well defensively, he was a really good rebounder, and although he was limited offensively, just having that pick and lob threat and having that ability at such a high level was something that was seen to be very intriguing to a lot of NBA teams. But after the Dallas Mavericks were able to acquire this guy, a lot of people, including myself, thought it was a perfect fit. Because when you look at this Dallas roster, they have Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving, they have some other scoring threats on their roster as well, but one real gaping hole that the Mavs had this previous season, and really ever since they got Luka Doncic in my opinion, is they never had a really good big man that was able to do a lot of the things that Lively is able to do at a high level. Like for example, rebound effectively, play effective defense, be able to run the pick and lob offense, and do some other things as well. But some of you may be wondering at this point, why do I think Derek Lively is such an important piece for this Mavericks roster specifically? Well, I think it comes down to a couple different factors, but the first factor I want to touch upon is his defensive presence. Because when you look at his ability to play defense out there and play not only on ball, but also off ball defense by coming over and getting some weak side blocks, it just becomes extremely important for any team, but especially for this Mavs roster. Because when you look at the guys they have on their team, they have guys who could play defense, but also they have other guys that don't necessarily play the best defense. Like for example, Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and some others on the roster. So having a true defensive anchor like Derek Lively becomes that much more important. Because even if their initial defender blows by, for example, Luka Doncic or Kyrie Irving, now you have Lively in the paint to make up for that defensive lapse and still get stops. And when you talk about this Mavs team specifically, if they're able to play relatively well defensively, they're going to have a pretty good season in my opinion. They have a lot of offensive firepower and it's going to be difficult for teams to keep up with that. But if the Mavs are able to play well offensively and play relatively well defensively, I think they're going to be one of those teams that are just very difficult to beat. And I think Lively would do a really nice job in helping the Mavericks defense overall. But the next reason for why I think the addition of Derek Lively is a really good one for this Mavs roster is actually due to his offensive abilities. Now, as I mentioned before in the video, Lively isn't necessarily all that great offensively and very skilled. He is a very raw player, but what he does have is he does have great size out there, a great wingspan, and most importantly, phenomenal athleticism. And the reason why that's important specifically for his offense is due to the fact that he's going to be able to get a lot of offensive rebounds, which is something we saw in the Spurs matchup, but also he's going to do a really nice job in running that pick and lob offense with either Kyrie Irving or Luka Doncic. And in his first game, against the San Antonio Spurs, we actually did see a lot of that. We saw him running the pick and lob offense and getting those lob finishes, but also at the same time, even if he wasn't getting those lob opportunities, just running the pick and roll is going to open up a lot of different things for other teammates as well. Like for example, the ball handler that's probably either going to be Luka or Kyrie can just score for himself pretty easily, or if the defense decides to add in another guy into the paint, then the ball handler could just kick out to a wide open shooter for a wide open three. And overall, I just do think the addition of Lively and the addition of that pick and lob offense just opens up a ton of different things for this Mavs offense. And when you're talking about opening up a lot of different things for an offense that consists of both Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving who have the capability to score for themselves and put up 30 plus points on any given night while doing so at a very efficient rate, I think it just makes this Mavs team that much more dangerous. And to be honest, I do think the Mavs have a chance to be one of the more efficient offenses in the entire NBA. But the next question that some of you may be wondering 
wondering at this point is what kind of ceiling do I see for Derek Lively? Well, in my opinion, as I mentioned before, I think Lively is a very effective player right away. He does a really nice job at rebounding both offensively and defensively. He does a really nice job in the pick and lob offense. But with all that being said, I do still think there is improvement to be made for Derek, and I fully expect him to improve as the years do progress. Now, a lot of times when you talk about players that have a similar skill set to Lively, a lot of people would like to see that kind of player and add that three point jump shot to their game. And although I do think it would be a nice addition, if Lively added that within his game, at the end of the day, A, I don't think it's all that realistic, and B, I don't necessarily think it fits into the way he plays. But with that being said, adding somewhat of a mid-range jumper to your game just to give the defense that threat of you being able to shoot it and make it at a decent percentage would be something I would like to see from Lively going forward throughout the rest of his career. Even adding somewhat of a post-up ability to put up nice hooks in the post, maybe some baby floaters, just have a nice touch around the basket is also something I would like to see from Lively. Lively. But overall, at this point, as I mentioned, I do like a lot of what I'm seeing from him. And if you can make some of those improvements and adjustments that I did mention before, at least in terms of his offensive game, I do think he's going to have an extremely bright future. But even besides his offense, there's always going to be certain improvements that he can make as he obviously is an extremely young player at this point. He can even make some improvements defensively. He can make some improvements in the rebounding department. And there's always going to be certain things that he can look to improve upon. But overall, as I mentioned before, not only in his rookie season, but also in the long term going forward, I do think that Lively is going to have a lot of success at the NBA level. Now for the Dallas Mavericks, I also think they're going to have a pretty successful season this year as well. Because although last year was an absolute disaster for them, they missed the playoffs and by the end of the year, they just basically threw in the towel, purposely not making the play-in game. I think there is a couple of things that are different this season compared to last. Like for example, the addition of Derek Lively, I do think that's actually a humongous difference for this team. Team. But even besides that, they have an extra year of experience between both Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving, and now they could feel a little bit more comfortable playing together. And I do, at the end of the day, think that's also going to be a huge factor. And I do think the Mavs can be a really good team this season. I think they can be a really prolific offensive team. I think they can be a solid defensive team. And when you add those two factors up together, you're talking about a team that's clearly a playoff team and a team that has a chance to make it past the first round and who knows where they can go from there. So overall, I am extremely excited excited to see what happens with both the Dallas Mavericks, but also Derek Lively, but I guess only time will tell what does. But it is going to be extremely interesting to see how this Mavericks team plays with all these improvements to other teams around the league, not only in the Western Conference, but also more specifically in the East. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Derek Lively has a chance to be not only very good during this upcoming season, but also have a really bright future ahead of himself, or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy, Enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now and until the next time peace out guys